By now, you are probably aware that if you're using the free version of Elementor, you cannot create headers or footers. If you want to create headers or footers, then you need to get Elementor Pro, which starts at $59 for just one website and $99 for up to three websites, and the price goes up. Look at the list. Where well, you see Theme Builder is only accessible for Elementor Pro. But if you want to create a header and a footer using the free version of Elementor, there is a workaround. Go to plugins and you need to add a free plugin called just type Elementor. Of course, you should have Elementor installed. And then this uh, plugin called Elementor Header and Footer Builder. This is it. And we want to activate that. Now, you come on the appearance, you see Elementor Header and Header and Footer. You click on that and click on Add New. You can skip all of this and then name it, let's say, main header. And then you can select the options, the, the template type header, and you want it to appear on the entire website. And for security purposes, just choose all pages. For user rules, you don't need to bother yourself about that. Just click on publish. Now, I would want us to install another plugin to make the building of our header very, very simple. I'll open my website, the back end of my website. I'll stick on the plugins. I'll click on add new and I'll search for just click on Envato. Not Envatio, Envato. Yes, this is the plugin we want to install Envato Elements. Click on that. This element is going to give you, this plugin is going to give you access to a lot of Envato elements like um, free templates, even some free photos. So I'll come back. I can shift this there. I'll come back here. I'll click on edit with Elementor. Now we are working on the header. We can come to the footer later on. It's loading. Click on continue. Now come back to the back end of your website. Go to Elementor. Go to settings. Yes, you can check all of these. Click on save. Come to features. Activate all. And then save changes. Come back here. Reload this page. You see the border that was down here has come up here. Now, so we want to create a header. So come to Envato Elements, click on Free Blocks. Here you see header. Click there. Now it gives you a number of uh, options for free header to create a free header. You can click this one. You can choose this one if you want. And it's going to give you a header with two layers. So I don't think we want that yet. So what we can just do, we can just choose something simple like this one. Let's insert template. You see, the to have this header, you need uh, to have the pro version. So this navigation header. So we'll remove this and we are going to come back to that. Let's go back to the back end of our, our website. I'm going to create pages because I have a blank website. Let me go back, back, pages. Let me look at the pages I have, all pages. Okay, I have this sample page. Let me trash this. I want to create a new page and name it home. And then I'll publish that. I want to go back, create another page and say contact and then I'll publish that let me go back now I'll come on the appearance search for menus we don't have any menus so I want to create a menu and call it main menu and let it appear on displayed on the header I'll create menu 
and then I'll add all my pages to it. You see, I have an extra home. I'm going to delete that later on. And then I've saved. Let me save that again. It is saved. Let me come back to my header. And then if I reload, let me publish this first. If I reload this page. Yes, I can now look for header. I will look for header, not Hiva. Header. No, not header. Menu, actually, it's a bit confusing. This is it. This one. You see this HFB, Header Footer Builder. Make sure you're selecting this one. You drag it there. And you now see your menu. You can go ahead. Click on Layout. Center it. Click on style, change the color to pure black. You can change the typography. I'll make it poppins. Poppins. I want to make it maybe 500, not 600, 500. And that is that. So you see these uh, buttons here. You can change them. Change them. Instead of Twitter, look for X. Twitter is now X. This is it. Insert it there. And you can add TikTok. TikTok. Click on all icons and then I'll look for TikTok. That is TikTok. So you can add whatever logo you want here. I'm just going to leave it the way it is and let me publish it. And then you can change the hover so when the hover over this menu what should it change to we can use this color here so i'm going to use the color picker tool and pick this color it's a chrome extension i'll copy this and say okay when somebody hovers over this it should change to that pink i paste it here so you now see when i hover over this it changes to pink now let me preview this this is how it looks it's going to look and i will now come here to make it look look uh, more aesthetic let me come to all pages edit this home page so that you can see it very clearly edit with elementor i'm just going to ins uh, uh, import a page or a block from Envato. I'm going to choose this install kit. It's installing view kit. Yes, so let me just insert this. It's inserting. So you see, uh, it has imported this page and all whatnot. Let me publish it and now let's preview this page and you see the header in action. So this is it. Now let me come to the page and come to settings and click on high title. Publish that. And then you see the preview now. So you see the header seated on top of there. But we still don't have a footer. So we want to create a footer. I'll come back to my to the back end of my website. And I'm just going to repeat the same process. I'll come to Appearance, Elemental Header Footer Builder, click on Add New, and this time around I'll see Footer, and then Type of Template, I want to see Footer, and Display on the entire website, add another display condition, all pages, user rules will leave it the same, and we publish. Now, Edit with Elemental. Now you can go ahead and still come to free blocks and look for footer. Footer. We have a number of them here. You can choose whichever one you desire. And then you are going to go ahead and customize it. So we can choose this one. It's important. Now you see it here. It has the about us section. We can change this to 
white, the color of this to white, let's increase the transparency, becomes white. This navigation menu, you can add this, or you, you can use it the way it is, or you can delete this, delete this, and add a navigation menu. Just say nav, and this is it. You can use all of this because you need Elementor Pro, and they will bring this here. But you see it's horizontal, want it to be vertical, so come to layout, and when you see layout, make it vertical. So you see it's now on the straight line. I want to center this. Now, what you can do, you can go ahead and edit this again. Maybe you want this, the text to be white, since it's on the white background. Text color, make it white. You can reduce the line height. That's the horizontal padding. No, that's the, that's the horizontal padding, the vertical padding rather. Let me leave this to be 10. Let me make this 10. Let me reduce the vertical padding so the text there, they are not too spaced out. And you can give more padding to this entire container. You come up to the padding, make this to be 40, not 400, please. And then bottom, you can make it 60 and not 600. And then for the social icons, you can do the same thing we did. Remove dribble, Twitter, you change this to X, all icons, X. And this is X, which is formerly, was formerly Twitter. And then Instagram, LinkedIn, you can add TikTok as we did. Add TikTok. Yes, so you have changed them to official colors. And then you want them to be circular, you can make them square. But we will leave it to be circular. You can change the font here. And then you can add the last layer here, which is the copyright. You just add that. Let me repeat that. You click here, Flexbox, add a container. And then you click and look for text editor. And you can see all right. Or rather, copyright. All rights reserved. So you can make it that way. So and you can give this a background. Maybe you want it to be this color. I'll pick this color here. I'll copy it. I can give it to the entire background. Style. Background type. Give it color. Paste the hex code here. And then you can make this to be white. You can make this to be white. You can change the color. The font rather to the poppins. And you can make it to be 13. And then it should be 600 in width. You can make this text to be centered by clicking the alignment center. Or you can make it to go to the left. It's all up to you. So you can choose it this way. You can change the color if you want to something else, maybe something grayish like this. It is all up to you. So after doing that, you publish. And if we now take a look at this page, if we take a look at this page, you now see we have the footer down here. And we didn't use any premium uh, templates, any premium plugins. We use the free version of Elementor and Elementor header and footer. If you got any value from this video, please subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, like this video and post your comment down. That's your own way of saying thank you for this nugget of wisdom. Thank you very much. God bless you. Peace.